Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a t-shirt or your Cricut cut machine. So guys, this is a pretty simple process. I know a lot of you may have different type of Cricut machines. The way that I'll be doing my shirts are pretty simple and it's pretty much the technique that everybody use. You can use your Cricut Joy, Maker, Air, whatever Cricut cutting machine you have, pretty much you'll be able to make t-shirts with. So let's get straight to it and jump into my computer. You'll just go to your browser of choice and mine is Google Chrome. So I have that pulled up and once you pull up your browser, you'll just type in cricket.com and this page will pop up and then you'll see right here on your left hand side, it says design space. Once you click design space, it'll open up and it'll let you download the Cricut design space app. So you can download this app on your desktop, on your laptop, or even on your phone and use it to cut your items from there either or it doesn't matter. So once this is downloaded, since it's already downloaded in my computer, I could just pull up Cricut Design Space. So once you log into the Cricut Design Space, this will be your home page and what you'll see when you first log in. So from here, you'll just go to new project. So I'm here and now I can upload my SVG that I'll be using. You use SVGs to cut on Cricut for any type of shirts or items that you want to cut. Any type of digital files, I use SVGs. So. I'm going to upload and then browse my computer for the SVG that I'm going to use. And then here it is. It says small business, big dreams. I'll open that up and it just a simple design is just showing me that it was just only cut the, the design. Since it's the SVG, it won't be able to print the design and cut it. Just only um, cut the image. So I'll click upload. Then I'll be able to click my design, add it to my canvas. And now it's on my canvas and I can decide whether I want to make the image smaller or bigger. It all just depends on what you're putting it on, what size garment. So I'll be showing you guys in a second how I decide what size I need it to be on the computer. So I'll just make this a tiny bit smaller and then we'll head over to the shirt so I can show you guys how I measure it up. All right, guys, so now that we're in person, I can show you guys the shirt that I'm using. So it's just a large Vela canvas shirt. It's super simple. And basically, this is a ruler that I'll be using. And I just have to figure out how big do I want the design to be for when I'm cutting it. So I would say that I need the design to be pretty big because the shirt is kind of big. So maybe about, I want to say this is about 11 and a half inches right here. So this looks pretty good for the size shirt that it is. If the shirt was smaller, of course, you would make the design smaller. And if the shirt was bigger, you would make it bigger. But I feel like 11 and a half looks good. And since it is a simple design, I'm just going to keep this simple and just do 11 and a half. But basically all you'll need is just your ruler and your shirt and you'll be able to just size it up where you want it to go, how big you want your design to be. Super All right, so let's go back on to Cricut and I can show you guys me sizing it down and being ready to cut the design. 11 and a half looks pretty good on the shirt. So I'll just stretch the design. Well, it's not technically stretching the design out, but just making it bigger, pulling on these arrows right here until I hit 11 and a half. So 11 and a half right here is pretty good. So this is how you know um, the size of the design. This is the width and then this is the height right here. So this looks pretty good. So I'll click make it right here on your right hand side. Once you click make it, it's just telling me that the design is really big so it wouldn't be able to fit onto a simple size mat. And that's okay because I have a longer mat. So I'll just click okay. And then I'll click to mirror the um, image. So on t-shirts, stuff has to be mirrored. If not, when you see the design in person, it'll be backwards. So you just have to always make sure to mirror your items when you're making t-shirts. That's super important. You don't want to waste all this time cutting so much vinyl. And then you turn around and your images are not even mirrored, so you can't use them. So I'm just going to move this over. Oh. So I'm just gonna move this over so that I'm not really wasting too much vinyl down there at the bottom. So this is now set and we'll go to continue. And then just make sure at this time that your Cricut is either 
Bluetooth or plugged up to your machine because right here where it says connect machine, my computer is plugged into my machine. So it's already set, but you do have the option of using Bluetooth on your Cricut machines. So, all right, the first step is to set your base material. So my base material is premium vinyl. That's what I'll be using um, as my setting for when my Cricut cuts down onto the material. Basically, premium vinyl is just any vinyl that you're using, whether it's Cricut, Scissor. I know that a lot of people like to use a lot of different things, but premium vinyl pretty much cuts the shirt really well. All right, guys, so I'm going to flip over and I'll be showing you how I set the machine up to cut the vinyl and all of that good stuff. All right, guys, so now that we have everything handled on the amp, I'm just going to be putting my vinyl onto my mat so that we could cut it on the Cricut machine. This is Scissor HTV. I know that a lot of people like to use a lot of other different brands, but this is the one that I like to use. HTV just stands for heat transfer vinyl. Basically, it's just a vinyl that once you heat it up, it sticks onto your garments because of the back end that it has. So it's two different size to vinyl. There's going to be a shiny side and then there's going to be a dull side. So when you put your vinyl down onto your um, mat, make sure that you're putting it down onto the shiny side. So you don't want to see the shiny side. What the machine is going to be cutting is the dull side. So that's just like a big thing that you need to pay attention to. Don't cut the shiny side, cut the dull side. So I'm just going to put this vinyl onto my mat so that we can start cutting. This may take you a couple times when you're layering this because you want it to be side to side. Mine is a little bit crooked, so I think I'm gonna do it over. <laughs> Practice makes perfect when you're doing this though, guys, like for real. So now that I have my vinyl onto my mat correctly, I'll just open my app back up and get ready to cut this so basically you just want to put your mat in and then press the arrow button and it'll grab it i'm going to move this back a little bit and then once you're ready to go you'll just click the cricket sign you'll just click the cricket light that's flashing and you'll be ready to cut your vinyl All right guys, so this sounds like it's done cutting and I'll just click the arrow button so that the um, mat can come out. And I'm just gonna move this. All right, so you wanna first start by removing the vinyl from the mat. Once that's removed, you'll just need your, what do you like to, what do people like to call this? Like, it's not a tweezer, but it's like a weeder, a picker. So like, you'll wanna use your weeder or your picker, whatever you like to call it. And you'll need a pair of scissors. And then you'll just see where your design stops on the vinyl. And you can cut from there. So it look like mine's pretty much stopped down here. And I'm just gonna cut my vinyl, making sure that you don't cut the design. It is pretty light, so it's kinda easy to cut but you just might wanna be around some light so that you can see and make sure that you don't cut the design. Then it's just time for you to weed your piece of vinyl. So I like to start at the corners just because it's a little bit easier. Start at the corner and then I'll just lift it up.
and then basically after you're done your really big pull you'll just go in and grab the little pieces that may be in between letters All right, this is it after it's done being weeded. The small business part is upside down because how I flipped it. So I'll just have to cut that piece off separately. And then basically we're ready to put this onto our t-shirt. So we'll put it onto our t-shirt with this side down and I'll show you guys. I'm gonna warm up my heat press and then we'll press the shirt. All right guys, so my heat press is warming up. So while it's warming up, I'll just grab my shirt and move my Teflon sheet. So these, this is my Teflon pillow and my Teflon sheet. You need this to put this over top of your garment when you're pressing it so that it doesn't burn on your heat press iron. You can use a heat press. Um, I know that they have Cricut press and they have regular, you can use just regular iron. It doesn't matter. I just have a heat press, so that's what I'll be using. So I'll first just heat up my shirt so that I can get the moisture out of the shirt. I'll move my design back here for a second. And then I'll just press the moisture out the shirt and get the wrinkles out. And then I like to just fold my shirts in half just to get a center line in the middle of the shirt so I'll know where the center is. And then this is just for this video. So it may be a little bit off, but it's whatever. It's just to show you guys. Now that the heat press is heated up and our shirt is pressed and we have the moisture taken out, I'm just gonna lint roll this because it has a couple, well, it has a lot of lint looking stuff on there. This shirt is for me, so it's not like it really matters. All right, now that that is done, I like to use my shirt alignment rulers. I'll put the link down in the description. I showed you guys these before, but this is the adult size. So you just take it and put it on the collar of the shirt. And it'll tell you basically where, how far, it'll basically tell you how far down you need to go with your design onto the shirt. So, this looks pretty good. And I'll go grab the design. And I like to just fence. Since I did cut these out separately, I'll have to just do like this and I like to find the center of the design so I'll take it and I'll fold it over to find the center but make sure guys that you fold it over on a non sticky part because if you fold it over on a sticky part the vinyl will stick together with each other and it'll be hard to come off so make sure if you do do this method that you flip it over on the sticky side so you should basically be touching the sticky side and I'm just going to put this down and see how this looks and it looks good from what i can see the sizing looks pretty good as well and i'm just going to give this a press so i'll take off this piece because it's being covered up by the other piece of vinyl i'll put my teflon sheet down and let this warm up for about 15 seconds. So guys, every vinyl has different instructions on when you should pill it. Scissors is a warm pill, so I can pull this off. Um, a lot of vinyls are cold pills, warm pills, or hot pills. You just have to figure it out by reading the instructions on the back of your vinyl. It'll tell you what you have to heat your machine up to and basically what type of pill it is. So I'll add this other part onto here. And then make sure that you do add your Teflon sheet because if you don't, you'll mess up your shirt.
So I like to just go in one last time and give it another press after both of the pieces are on. And typically I'll give it probably like another 15 seconds. And voila. All right, guys, so this is the finished shirt. I hope that you guys like it and that this tutorial was meaningful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Leave them down below in the comments. And also, guys, I have a video on how to use this heat press. So if you have any questions about using your heat press, click this video. It'll be up in this corner or up in this corner. But please make sure to watch that. It'll answer all your questions about your heat press. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.